I was inspired to write Euphoria um, because I stumbled upon a biography um, about Margaret Mead and I came to this chapter where she was with her second husband and she met her third husband and they were in the jungle of Papua New Guinea and I thought wow that would be an amazing idea for a story thinking I would never in a million years write it myself I just thought it was a good idea but I became so curious about what happened and I tried to find more books and more information about about what was going on in that that particular period between 1931 and 33 in her life and the more I found the more interested I became and then it started to trigger my imagination if I were to meet Margaret Mead today I would ask her I think I would have to ask her about that particular time in her life I would have more questions I would um, I, I would want to know um, exactly really truly what was the dynamic between the three of them because I feel like there isn't a lot of information about it I, I really had to make up all of the dialogue and um, she didn't keep a journal as I have her keep in the in the novel and I, I would like to know some facts uh, and, and sort of, you know, what was fact and what was fiction and what she was holding back when she wrote Letters Home. Writing Euphoria was very different from other novels I've written because it was so research-based. I mean, I really, I wanted to get these historical details right in some way. I mean, I, you know, so much of it I made up, but I... I wanted to get the time period to actually feel like the time period and I wanted uh, the description to feel like Papua New Guinea and so and also I, I wanted to have their conversations about anthropology actually be like conversations they could possibly have had and so I just had to do so much research about so many things that I was completely ignorant about and um, I kept a, a big green journal or a notebook of details and um, and then I had to turn all that sort of research into um, into a work of imagination and and I, I it, the, usually when I started writing a novel it just is from my imagination not really a historical fiction um, and to be honest I don't really love historical fiction in general I mean there are definitely exceptions to that rule um, I don't honestly I, I don't know how to define it I think that all I can say is it's a work of literary fiction that takes place in 1933 and um, is very loosely based on on a love triangle that happened in real life. But I, uh, I don't I don't really know if there is a genre yet, you know, for this kind of thing.